Hey, I'll be sending this beast to Jack, Vintage Electronics Geek. Shout out to Jack. Check him out. Hi, uh, howdy everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by VintageElectronicsGeek.com. My name is Jack. Today I thought uh, I would step out from behind the camera. So here is a, here's a uh, early picture of myself. No, I'm kidding to none of that. That's not me. However, makes me wonder what Don, I'm a junk collector, is thinking. I wonder what his subliminal message is by this box. I don't know. Anyway, today we are going to open up this box. I received this package from Don. I'm a junk collector. So this is really fantastic. And Don, I appreciate it. I would imagine we have what? Another box full of bags. I wonder how many bags we're going to find in this one today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open up and find out what he sent. I have, uh, I have not a clue what he sent me. He just said he had a, uh, a surprise package to send me. And that's, that's as far as I know. I could tell you the box is a little weighty. It is a little heavy. So maybe he sent me some, uh, some gravel out of his yard. I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Not sure exactly what it is, but I, I, I'm suspecting it's a radio. And bags. Let's, let's count the bags, shall we? All right, I counted. I counted uh, at least 27, 28. I know there are some in there that was uh, double bagged. Um, so thanks, Don. I'll add those bags to my collection. And uh, how exciting! Check this out, guys. All the way from 1980s. Well, what we have here is a JVC boombox with dual cassette. Model number R0W3, is it? The guy said six bucks, and I says, eh, I thought he said 60, and I walked away, and he says, I'll let you have both of them for six bucks. Six bucks? Sure. And the other one was junk. It was a Sanyo, but it was really a mess. Nice big speakers, complete with uh, paint splatter. It wouldn't be a, a radio if it didn't have paint splatter, right? Uh, up top here we have our on off switch, we have headphones, volume, a tone control, oh, has auxiliary uh, radio and tape, uh, dubbing radio aux and built in mic, wow. Uh, I've not seen this on a radio before. Uh, dubbing speed, uh, triple speed, and normal. Wow, that's uh, never seen triple. Uh, and then we got continuous play on off. We have our external mic with our mic gain. Oh, we got a fine tuning. Typical JVC. It's got the shortwave AM FM radio. This, this is pretty awesome, Don. Thanks. Uh, we got uh, mono, stereo button, FM, shortwave 1 and 2, and AM. Oh my goodness, I am, uh, I am looking forward to uh, uh, checking this out. It's a pretty nice boombox though. Nice JVC, so. Oh, nice soft eject there on the deck. And this one here, I think we have a tape left in it, and we do. And that is a nice, uh, oh, who makes that? Oh, it's a Radio Shack XR60, 60-minute 60 tape. I've not seen that uh, version by Radio Shack before, so we'll have to check that out, see what, uh, what it is. So, nice and soft. So that'll explain why we got the fine-tune. We have a uh, built-in microphone here. 
and so it appears to be just one one microphone input used to listen to the shortwave back in the day when you had Art Bell and before Alex Jones took it over um, some of the preachers were pretty funny your sins have to pop out somewhere little children have acne why I can tell you why what little boys do in the bedroom at night on this side we have our power cord and uh, we propelled birds propel eagles don't propel we said oh god 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 oh our uh, AC switch uh, toggle from 110 to 120 and then we have uh, our beat cut uh, 12 volt is it 12 volt yeah 12 volt and then uh, auxiliary in manufactured by the Victor company of Japan so this is a RCA product yes there is something rattling around in there so fill and see if the uh, heads are heads are working there so let's go ahead and plug it in and find out what it does it's either going to work or it's going to blow up the AM FM shortwave did work it's just that it uh, uh, needs a little tweaking I think it needs an alignment but other than that I think it works pretty good I did hear stations on it I should be supported in working my way back to God. Which brings us to the readings for today. I forgot to look over here. So there's our through the book of Exodus, you know, in tuning uh, control. Mass, or if maybe you just follow along with FM. Or no, that's shortwave one. Shortwave two. FM. Let me uh, bump the camera in a little tighter so you can see the dial. All right, so here we uh, we got you bumped in. Didn't realize it, but we do have a power battery indicator here, and then we have a stereo indicator there. The uh, tuning on this is really nice and easy. So let's uh, push the mono stereo button on this. Yep, definitely works. Everybody shake your head. Matchup, Jim. That's right, Ron. I mean, in one corner we've got a 175 pound. All right, let's go ahead and try the uh, tape player. And uh, this cassette worked on the right channel at first. Uh, the belt is good on it, but uh, I sprayed a little contact cleaner because these switches were really bad here. And I got both channels to come in on the radio because only the right channel was working. So I sprayed cleaner in there and a little bit of cleaner in the uh, cassette switching for record and uh, play. 
and I lost the channel because that sound just went out. I, I hope I didn't pull a wire loose when I opened the case to spray it. Also sprayed the other switches and things. So, Jack, I don't know. This one here definitely has a bad belt. No go. This one, the belt was okay and it worked, but I lost audio. So maybe you can figure that out. But it's hard to get to these cassettes. You might have to take them out from the front. Pretty nice boombox, though. So, Don, we are going to try this tape that was included with the radio. Hopefully there's nothing uh, personal on there. If there is, I'll kill it. And, uh, as I said, I, I'm going to take the... I'm going to interpret the Constitution here. And say, he was trying to steal hope. All right? Well, it's interesting. Have it on tape, have it playing said tape, and by the recording source, I get I get all this. All right, so now I'm on tape apparently. Definitely gonna need some help. Okay, nothing on that one. Let's uh, come over here, try this deck. Okay, so definitely the uh, decks need a little love. We'll tear it apart and we will see what all that noise is. So with that, this is going to end the video. Everybody give Don a big thumbs up. Let him know what kind of a swell bloke he is, because he really is. Thank you, Don. Take care, everybody, and we will catch you in the next video. Well, Brother John, what does a, a widow woman want? What is, I asked this question one time in Roswell, New Mexico. I said, what would a widow woman want? And a little Mexican lady jumped up and she said, a husband! And another one got the spirit of the thing and she jumped up and said, A rich husband! There will be 50 people give $1,000 and do it right now or I am finished. Now try me. <laughs>